How's it going everybody and welcome back to another solo slooping video. I just realized yesterday that I actually haven't made a video about the new Veil Voyages yet, but to add a little twist to it, we are going to be running a Veil Conversion. Basically, a Veil Conversion is where you fly the Athena's Emissary and do a Veil Voyage, sell all of the Athena specific loot, then fly the Reaper's Emissary and try to get to grade 5 so you can sell all of the other loot at a high value as well. So that's the goal for today's voyage. The real question is, do I have a Legend of the Veil? Yes, I do. Perfect. So we are all set on that. Let's vote up the Athena's Emissary. And now we just have to stock up and we're good to go. Okay, so let's just get this going. You know, I just want to get right to playing. It's been a little while. I haven't had much time to play recently with work and everything going on. Everything you need to know is in your quest book. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Meet me at the highest point of Marauder's Arch. Don't dilly-dally. So Marauder's Arch is up here. So we need to head a short distance north. I'm thinking we go right through the center of this island into the other side since we approach from the side with the towers on it. Let's grab this ammo crate. Might as well since it's right there. And I think I hear a mermaid statue somewhere. I do, it's over that way, but let's grab whatever this is here. Or we just won't grab it since we don't have a prompt for it. Okay, well, never mind about that. Ideally, we find a harpoon rowboat somewhere too, because that's gonna make selling at Reapers a heck of a lot easier. So I'm guessing the highest point of Marauder's Arch is going to be over there, right? There he is. I really dig Suds' outfit. Look at that, that is clean. I want that. All right, let's see where we're going. We are going to collect a jewel from wherever that is. So that is looking like, I don't know, it's a very rocky island and it's probably on the southeast side. Oh no, there's another Reaper at Daggertooth. Was it this one right here? It was this one. So it's Old Faithful Isle. Oh no, we have to get closer to the Reaper then. Where on this island was it? It looks like it's right up over the ridge here. If I shoot straight up, what is that angle like? Uh-oh, are we gonna go too far? Nope, we're good, we're good. Nice, I think it's right here. There we go. So we have got two skulls in the Veilstone. So let's leave this chest here. We'll take that veil stone and we'll pop that into the mask. And let's see what we've got to do next. All right, we need to go see Bell at Marauder's Arch now. So back to Marauder's Arch we go. Let's see if we can shoot ourselves up there this time. Save ourselves a little bit of that walk. Hello, Bell. Oh God, I broke my legs. Hold on, sir, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. Well, I guess we at least found this cannonball crate having to jump down here. Let's check out our next spot. Wait, 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 so what am I supposed to do? Well, you know what? There's something over here, so let's get that. Oh, we've got a coral message in a bottle. That might be something for us to do once we go for the Reaper conversion part of this. I get the feeling that I was supposed to use this up where she's at. The only scary part about doing that coral message in a bottle later is if we vote up Reapers to do it, everybody's gonna know where we're at. Even if we're level one, just starting out to do it, that Reaper still might be tempted to come after us. 
Hello, ma'am. Excuse me, could you refresh my memory on what I'm supposed to do? Whoa. Is that it? Oh, I go over here now? I honestly don't know what to do here, guys. I haven't had to do one of these yet. Maybe there's another brazier I have to find that's gonna be in like this radius that it keeps pulsing out. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, are those all the markers for the beacons? Should I have been looking at the sky this whole time? Okay, so here's one. I think I saw three lights in the sky before, so there's probably two more we have to get. Yes, one there and one here. That looks like that's it. Okay, I'm going over here, I guess. Oh, okay. Yes, I am. Definitely. This is wacky. How do I know what to fight? Is it the phantoms? Okay, something's coming up. Soul flame captain. Oh, I got him. Oh no, he dropped a bunch of stuff. I am going to have to come back here. Hello, sir. Do you have a veil stone for me? You do. Why, thank you. Okay, let's go get the ship and bring it around here. And we will come pick up this loot. Let's put the stone in. Get that started while we get the rest of the loot. So where are we going now? Okay, we're going to have to take down one of those ghost forts. So can we see where it's at? Not really with all of this going on. That's it over there. Okay, we need to head in that direction. Actually, it might be worth me sinking some of Flameheart's ships just because I need supplies right now. I don't know, we'll see. I forget if the forts actually will give you storage crates too when you finish them. And also, we need to keep checking these islands for potential harpoon rowboats. We are here. Okay, first four, I guess we're gonna go for the one over here on the right. Of course, the ship is steering practically right into me. So I think we're just gonna eat the collision course with this one. I don't think there's much getting around that. All right, well, buckle up. Okay, we'll go in for another pass on it now. Little higher. Okay, that one's done. That wasn't too bad. Oh, we've got something off the right right here. What is it? A skull. Okay, these do give storage crates. And I think we'll actually leave these on the top deck instead of putting them away. That way we can just reach for stuff when we need it. All right, to the next mini fort. Second one down. What do we have? Two more storage crates. Is it always storage crates from the forts? I actually haven't noticed before, but maybe it is. Now to take out the last mini fort and then the big one. Got it. So now we've just got to take out the final fort. And I think we're actually going to wait to loot this last fort until we finish the big one because I don't want to have to take any more shots than I need to. There we go. We're landing a couple hits now. We've got our groove. We've got our stride. We got that tower. How many more spots do I even need to knock out? I feel like I've been hammering at this thing forever. You know what, since we're already heading towards it, let's grab what's on this mini fort now. Maybe it is only storage crates from these guys. I mean, there was only two on this one again. We have all of the mini forts loaded now, so all we have to do are take out these last, it looks like two spots on the fort. 
and then we're good to go. There's that one. There we go. Let's see what we got. Oh wow, pretty good haul. And there's our veil stone. So let's go pop that in really quick, just so it completes the voyage for us. And now we've just got to hope that once we hit level five, none of the reapers take notice. All right, that looks like it's everything. We should go sell our Athena loot first. And I'm thinking since our coral message in a bottle is for the Shrine of the Coral Tomb, we are going to go to Sanctuary to sell. So that'll put us right down here next to it. So we need to get heading Southwest. Oh God, we're gonna have to sink that cause it's gonna follow us forever now. Yeah, not so fun now, is it, buddy? Well, we might as well take this loot anyways. It would have been nicer if it happened once we put our Reapers up. Okay, back to the southwest once again. We are a little out of our way now. Oh no, there's another ship here. I think we just go for the sink, guys. I think we have to. Let's wait and see if the mermaid pops up or not. Okay, there is a mermaid and we are going to need to get rid of this right now. We are rid of that for now at least. Let's sail our ship around to the other side just so he doesn't know we're over here. And then we'll sell on this side, I think. And let's hope he's not in here anywhere. Oh, he might be in the pirate hideout right now. Yeah, I'll bet that's where he's at. So we've got all of our Athena's loot sold now. Let's vote down the emissary. And what we're going to do now is vote up Reapers. The good news is we're starting out at level one. So if anybody sees us on the map, we actually don't look that juicy to them. First thing is first, let's check on that other Reaper. They are still selling at Reaper's Hideout. Why don't we head northeast to that shrine then? Actually, you know what we have to do? We have to go check out places for Harpoon rowboats right now. Oh, and there's a sunken ship right there too. So we can do that while we're heading over here. Is there anything at Boulder K? Any harpoon rowboats? Unfortunately, there are not. Let's see what we're able to get out of this. Oh, not a crying chest. I think as much as I want to take that with me. Actually, you know what? Let's bury that somewhere. We can pick that up and bury it. Maybe we'll consider getting it after we finish the shrine. Okay. Now let's head over to Smuggler's Bay really quick, just so we can bury this. And what do we have here? A fruit crate. We'll gladly take that. We are going to shoot across this island really quick just to see if there's a harpoon rowboat somewhere. Tell me that's a harpoon. Tell me that's a harpoon. Tell me that's a harpoon. Please, 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 please. Let's go, guys. This is huge. This is going to be a pretty large run if we pull it all off. I am actually very excited. If it's clear right now, I'm just gonna go down and I will finish transferring that loot later. The only thing I think is that skeleton sloop, otherwise we're in the clear. So let's do it guys, this is the big risk of the run. Down the slip and slide we go. Please be a quick puzzle. I actually have no idea which one this is. Okay, this might not be that bad. Um, 
what do we need to look for first? We need to look for the thing that tells us what positions these need to be in. Okay, so we need diamond, coral, chain. Diamond is right here. I think chain was up top and coral is probably around the corner. Yes. Okay, we got the first chunk done. So we're doing diamond, coral, chain again. Chain is done. Okay, we got diamond right here. Now to take the statue back and see what's going on up top. Okay, okay. Skelly ship is right there. I don't like how much my ship is shaking right now. Why is everything so shaky? I guess I'm okay. It doesn't seem like anything bad is happening up here. I think we're good to go loot up. The sloop is just asking to be taken down. Well, since we're already next to this fort, we might as well just do that to finish this out. Okay, I think that's everything here. Off to the fort we go. I know you guys see that Fort of Fortune out there on the horizon. And no, I am not doing it right now. I'm sorry, I would if I could, but oh my God. This session has already gone on so long. We need to get this stuff sold. Here's the storeroom key. So we can go pop that open now. Honestly, I'm not even gonna bother with the firework crate because I know I don't have enough fireworks to fill it up. All right, fortress key. We are all set to load up. Okay, let's go sell. Oh wait, you know what? We have that chest of sorrow. We've got to go get him. Well, do we guys? Since it looks like we might be in the clear right now, it's not worth going back for him. We should just take this opportunity to sell while we still have it. He's just going to have to stay buried alive for the rest of his days. Are we at Reapers already? Oh my god. I still don't have it all in the rowboat. I need a second here. Okay, I think I've got enough time to get everything in the rowboat. There's only a couple more pieces to move now. Okay, that's all of it, guys. Let's go sell it. Oh my god, we did it. I have no idea how we actually managed to complete a veil conversion successfully. We even ran a shrine from a coral message, and somehow we still got here, we managed to sell it all. The rare gods must have been on our side today, that's all I can say. Well guys, I think this is where our adventure ends for today. Don't forget to subscribe for even more solo slooping, and I hope you enjoyed.